family and those who are guests uh, at our site today. We welcome you again to another uh, devotional session on the Spiritual Nuggets on Friday. Today we're going to be spending time in one of the probably most popular or well-known uh, Psalms uh, in the Bible, the 23rd Psalms. And while it is a psalm that I have used and you may have heard read during funerals, it is a psalm that really speaks about the provisions that our God, that Jesus, the Good Shepherd, provides for his people, for his sheep, especially during times of difficulty. So we hope that you will be encouraged by this spiritual nugget, this devotional today on Psalms 23. Psalms 23, God is Shepherd. Someone has said that there are only two kinds of sheep that belong to the Great Shepherd, those who are bored and those who are restored. And if you find yourself being bored in your faith at this moment, um, we hope that by the end of this short time that it will restore your desire with all your heart to reconnect with the Great Shepherd. Now this psalm is often used at funerals. I've used it myself for families. And while it is very appropriate at such times, the psalm is about the Lord's provisions for his people the sheep of his pasture, and especially during times of difficulty. The Lord is my shepherd is a powerful statement of contentment. Someone who is not worrying about what they will eat or drink or wear or the bills that need to be paid. Wouldn't you like to go through hard times with this kind of perspective in the midst of every difficult situation wouldn't you like to eat at God's table wouldn't you like to know that the great shepherd is watching caring and providing everything that you need a sense of security even when you don't have what you would like to have, you have what you need. What a wonderful, faithful shepherd. What a wonderful, amazing, caring host that we have in Jesus, the great shepherd. Is the Lord your shepherd? When he is, there is nothing that you really need. I like this translation, I lack nothing. The King James says again, I shall not want. But when I know that I lack nothing, what can I want? He provides opportunities for me to prosper, to be blessed, and to be a blessing to others. He leads me to those moments where I can just be still and be able to replenish and refresh, refresh my spirit besides quiet waters. He restores my soul. He rejuvenates. When I spend time in worship and time in meditating the Word of God, it refreshes me. It's like a breath of fresh air. 
and he guides me don't need again a system that provides direction a GPS if you will he will guide because there are dangerous places that a GPS will not be able to locate but God the all-seeing eye God is love he will provide the right path because his name's sake because he is God he is a just God loving God patient not desiring that any should perish but all would come to salvation knowing for themselves Jesus the Good Shepherd what a powerful statement when I walk when I find myself in dark times in difficult situations even when I'm struggling with death or the death of maybe a friend a loved one I won't be swayed by the voice of the evil one who will speak words that says God doesn't care if he cared ye would not allow you to suffer this loss I love the example that Job gives the Lord giveth and the Lord does take away but blessed be the name of the Lord so I won't be afraid what David again reminds us that God because he is everywhere he is close beside us and the things that he uses as the great shepherd are not designed to hurt us but to perfect us to mature us his rod and his staff they are there to protect and comfort us now in verses 5 David moves from the illustration he was using uh, God as a shepherd now he used the illustration that God is a wonderful host that he provides a table before him in the presence of his enemies now our enemies may not take a bodily form but there are enemies that would attack our sense of security our presence with God our relationship with our family these are the things that God will provide a feast opportunities where we can praise his name even to the point where again our lives and the goodness he provides overflows and when our lives overflow it overflows and touches the lives of other people who may also be in need of the blessing of God and the result is that when we stay with the Good Shepherd that his goodness his love and mercy will be a part of our every day presence we can trust the Lord and the Bible says lean not to your own understanding but in all your ways as sheep we must allow him to lead and guide us and he will direct our path and David said I will dwell in the house and he's not talking about a physical house he's talking about the spiritual presence that this sheep enjoys with the great shepherd that he knows that God will always be present and that's where he is going to stay he is going to stay in that relationship with God he'd be foolish to leave because the wolves are waiting whenever we leave the protection of the shepherd God is kind and merciful may you be blessed and may you use this opportunity to meditate on the goodness of God as the Good Shepherd something to think and pray about Father of all grace and mercy I praise your name and for your wonderful words of comfort Father I praise you that you have promised that nothing can ever pluck me out of your hand and I thank you that you will restore me and lead me while I live in this world keep me I pray 
that I will not wander far from you. May I not fear when death comes near. Help me not to weep for a long time, for you have said that joy will come. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Ordnung ab.